Okay, new video time. So I'm just going to make this video very quick since it's really going to be repetitive to the last few. And the next project I get on, which I think is going to be a helmet, I'll, I'll take my time and get a little more detailed in that one. So this is a Dark Sister Sword. The blade has six pieces. Uh, it's pretty long, about four feet long. So I'm going to do round one. So I've already uh, painted these and sanded them, these three pieces. I have to do this one very careful because it's very delicate at the end. And I'm going to do these three now that they're, they're printed. So I will just come back at each stage just to show these and that will be it for this video. Okay, a quick update. Uh, excuse the radio. I forgot to turn it off. So I've got five pieces painted and sanded. And this is what the one painted looks like. I haven't sanded it yet. So I'm going to sand that one and then go prime these and then we'll take a look at them. Some of these are, are smooth now, like really, really smooth. So this might not be as hard as I thought. Okay, I have my sword pieces back. So I've done a round on them. It's a dark sister sword, I believe. And you can still see there's, let me just wipe that off a bit. There's, there's still some layer lines. And I'm gonna have to do a little better job sanding that middle groove. So I'm gonna paint these, sand them and then prime them again for round two, and we'll see how they look. Let me take a look at another piece. I'm just gonna drop it first. You can see the bottom where it was first printed, and then it starts wobbling. So this guy needs some work, but we'll get them all perfectly smooth. Okay, the Dark Sister Sword Pieces. I hope that's the name of it, Dark Sister. They've been uh, painted and sanded, so you can see the uh, primer and then where it's left some uh, of the paint where it's needed to fill in. So I'm going to go prime these, and that'll be round two. I think a few of the pieces will be all done. A couple more would need a round three, but I'm not sure if I'm going to go round three. I'll just contact who's, uh, who's buying this and... If they want it shipped right away today, I'll send it out. And if not, I'll do a round three to a few pieces for them. Since this is just like a courtesy, right? Just to help, help them out. So there's not much to say about this. It's the same as the videos I've done already. So I'm looking forward to uh, moving on to a helmet or something different. So this could be the end of the video right here. We'll see. Okay, I'm back with my, my sister sword. And a couple of these pieces, they have some little fragments stuck to them, are done. And I won't do them again. And a couple, like you can see right here, right there, right there. I'm going to do those again. This guy's good. So, and this piece, I just gave it a little wet sanding. And, I mean, it's, it's smooth as glass. You know, when you paint that, it'll look beautiful. Just a little watermark, yep. So there's the update on the, the sword. So I will come back when I've done those other pieces one more time and call this one finished. Okay, finishing off this video, I got my Dark Sister Sword pieces back. They're all good. If you uh, wet sand these down with 800 grit or higher, they will be as smooth as glass. The only thing is right in this crack, I either miss sanding it or something stuck to it while I was painting it. It could be either way. But because he has to join these together, fill the crack anyway, he's going to take care of that. He's very happy. To, his sword pieces are all beautiful and smooth. So that will conclude the Dark Sister and on to a helmet, I believe.